So today we're gonna to be doing a beginner's guide to Cash App on your desktop. So in case you didn't know, you can actually use Cash App on desktop. There are some limited features as of this recording, but we're gonna go over those here today and I'm gonna take you directly on the desktop and this is gonna be our Cash App account. Now, if you don't already have Cash App, link will be in the show notes, gets you a nice little bonus uh, and that does help us out so we can make more free content just like this for you. Now, here we are. This is the main setup of our Cash App. Uh, just real quick for those that might be curious, yes, you can have the light mode in dark mode or an auto based off the time of the day. Uh, we obviously have it in dark mode as of this moment of recording. Now, there's a couple things we want to start off with. We're currently in our activity tab over here. You can see on the left hand side, and this is the starting point when we log into our account. Now, if you haven't already logged in before, you do need to set up your account through the app. It's going to be a much easier process. And like I said, there's going to be some limited things we can do here. But first and foremost, you can actually see your cash app account dollar amount. So you can see we have $10 available for us. You can see if you have any money in your savings account. And if you didn't know, cash app now does have a savings account with an APY based off of what if you have a direct deposit or not. Uh, there is stocks as well as Bitcoin, but you cannot buy into those things currently on the desktop. But if in the future that happens, we will do an updated video for you. But you can see your total dollar amounts on here as well. So it's really nice. I'm going to just kind of do a quick zoom in here so you can see Bitcoin and uh, stocks as well. There's your savings as well as whatever your cash app balance is currently. Now, because we are here in the transactions and activities page, you can see all your transactions. You can filter, you can sort, and you can even download this information. So that's really nice. So let's go ahead and go on the uh, left hand side over here. You can see again, we're in the activities and we're going to click over here where it says money and that's going to take us to our cash out balance and we can cash out. This is, of course is going to go through to whatever account we have on file for us. So if you click cash out, it's going to take off everything from that balance. And then if we go over to the next tab over, which is savings, you can see over here, we have $0 in our savings. You can actually start earning your interest, but you can transfer money in and out here directly on the app. Now, if you transfer in over here, this is based off of the amount you have available. So if you wanted to do anything from that dollar amount, it's preset here, or you can just type in whatever dollar amount, like a buck or whatever, and hit continue to transfer it into your savings. Here, it'll also show you your goals which you can also update, do the roundup feature. If you spend on the Cash App debit card, you can have money go directly into your savings as well as all your activities over here on the right-hand side. Now, there's also gonna be the card tab over here on the left-hand side. And uh, if you already have the card, it'll show the option to see your card number. So if you're trying to buy something online, you can actually get your Cash App debit card number. But in order to actually order your free Cash App debit card, you do have to go through that on the app, which we have a video for. So if you want to see that process, you can. Uh, we'll have that available for you. Now, next up on here is going to be the pay and request section. So you can actually pay somebody or request money directly on your desktop browser for Cash App. So you don't have to log into a phone if you don't have access. So you can see here, you could type in whatever dollar amount that you need uh, to either pay somebody or request. So those are going to be fairly similar here. And then under the two, this is where you're going to search by somebody's name, their cash tag, their phone number or email. Ideally, if they have an icon on their uh, profile, you'll actually see that too, which is nice. And then of course you can add a note, uh, whatever you need, or you could even put an emoji. And that's going to ask what account you're going to be pulling from over here as well. So if you toggle over here, it'll show your cash app balance. But if you have a debit card on file, this will also show your debit card. So you can actually pay directly to somebody directly from your debit card if you have no money on your cash app account at the time. Now, once you have all that filled out, you can click on pay and it'll send that money right over. If it's in your cash app balance, it'll go right away. If it's from your card, it'll also get pulled pretty quickly. And then it'll go to that person fairly instantaneously. If it's a larger dollar amount, it might take some time. Now here under the request tab, this is gonna be fairly similar. You're just gonna be searching for the person and what that money is being requested for. And then just click on the request. They'll get a notification on their phone about that request coming in. Once they accept that, that money will get put into your account fairly quickly if they go through that process and approve that as well. Now, Cash App does have a tax filing system over here on the left-hand side. It does take you to a completely different website, so keep that in mind. As well as you can get your tax documents as well as your regular bank statements um, on a monthly basis if you want to get those. And then they do have the account settings here where you can go ahead and change your home address. You could change your phone number. You could change your email. You could even change your cash tag. So we're going to jump in there so you can take a quick look and see what that looks like on our desktop. All right, so we went ahead and clicked on our account over here and it brought us up over to the section. Now over here, you're gonna see your basic info, linked bank account, security, notifications, limits, and appearance for the web browser. So if you click on 
any of these, it actually keeps you on the same page. It just drops you down to all those different sections. So here you can actually change the name, the cash tag, your address, email, phone number, etc. You can actually even remove or replace your debit card or bank accounts that you have on file. And some of the other features as well as like where your devices are logged in from. You could change your cash pin as well as allowing incoming requests to come through. And what's really nice too is you can change your notifications and you can even see your limits over here as well for each section, such as your cash limits and your Bitcoin limits. And then again, also the appearance over here for dark, light, or auto. And once you are all done and if you want to be logged out of your account, you can go ahead and click out the log out feature right over here to be completely logged out from that web browser. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you do not already have Cash App, we will have a link for you in the show notes down below so you can go ahead and get started. That link does help support us out so we can make more free content. And speaking of free content, we got more Cash App tutorials right over here so you can keep on learning.